Good morning. This is the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory Kilauea update for June 13th. In the lower east rift zone of Kilauea, fountaining in Fisher 8 continues to feed a fast-moving lava flow entering the ocean of Kapoho. The cone at Fisher 8 has grown taller and wider and the fountains are reaching heights of 130 to 140 feet. Uh, there is still a large steam plume at the ocean entry where lava is flowing into the water at multiple points. Offshore zones of hot water upwelling continue to be sighted, although they are now more dispersed. Yesterday we received a lot of questions about the color of plume from Fisher 8, which appeared darker in the afternoon. This was not due to a change in the composition of the plume, but rather an effect of the angle of the light hitting it. The plume contains a lot of water vapor, which can appear dark at times, just like any cumulus cloud or thundercloud. And when there are blue or brown tinges to the plume, it means that light is passing through or being refracted by the sulfur aerosols. In general, gas emissions from Fissure 8 remain high. Fissures 16 and 18 are still glowing noticeably at night, but the sporadic spattering observed over the last several days has diminished. Moving to the summit, at 3.39 a.m., another small explosion occurred at the Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater, producing a plume which rose 7 to 8,000 feet above sea level and drifted southwest with the trade winds. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of the crater continues, and several large rockfalls from the crater walls were detected overnight. Thank you.